Happy Monday and welcome to FTM Transtastic. My name is Eden Marcel and this week's topic is hyper-sexualizing trans bodies. Um, I myself am definitely guilty of this uh, just because pre-HRT I was always looking at other trans bodies and like physiques and just being like holy shit like I just want this fuck you look so hot like I can't wait to look this hot or just like feel more comfortable and confident so I can you know kind of just put myself out there like they were um but I've noticed that usually when you're or like when when I was pre-t uh you know I feel I, I feel like I was attractive, like, people were attracted to me, but since, like, starting HRT, uh, definitely people are more interested in me, especially if they know that I'm trans, um, and, like, it's, <laughs> it's really weird and interesting, <clears throat> um, I just had a really good conversation with my partner about the double standard and, uh, how having, uh, like, just, like, post-op and, like, top surgery and having a shirt on as opposed to having a shirt off and, you know, the ins and outs, uh, of how that is sexualizing myself. Like, when I, because I have this privilege of being able to take my top off, um, I don't try to do, like, every day or anything, but, like, uh, just <clears throat> being able to do that and having that kind of exposure, like, enables people to begin to, like, sexualize your body. Uh, even though it's just something as small as that, uh, it just, you know, like, leads to it. I was, like, hyper-sexualizing a lot of the trans bodies that I had seen because it was just so, so different to me, and... It just, there was just something that appealed, it just made it, so it was just so different, the same, yet appealing, if that makes sense. I'm not exactly sure how to word it, but, um, yeah, it's, it's really interesting when you're on the other side, like, pre -t, I was attractive, I mean, I still am attractive, but, like, pre -t, it was a different kind of, like, sexualization because I, you know, like, being AFAB and then just, like, having the physique of an AFAB person made people sexualize me, especially just because, like, I had, um, my chest was fairly big. It wasn't, like, super big or anything, but, you know, and just, like, my physique, uh, was just, like, pretty AFAB. I didn't have, like, hourglass shape I never I just had an athletic build but people were still attracted to it and now I just feel like since I've transitioned and my my <clears throat> my face and my body is just matching a lot better or just kind of like coming to how I want it to be um that I'm being sexualized now as being being seen as more masculine and like male which is pretty interesting um also, I just wanted to talk about, like, I guess, like, when I was, like, in, I still do, I mean, like, I feel like we're all guilty of, like, sexualization, like, hypersexualizing, uh, a lot of stuff, but when... I was doing that, it actually triggered my eating disorder, which kind of super sucks. So, like, it's, you know, it's it's pretty interesting how that plays a part in it as well, where it's like, holy shit, I'm so enamored by, like, this post-op body that I would like to achieve, and then just seeing how much definition, like, tone everyone can get, and I'm just like, oh, my body's changing so much. I'm fucking stressed out because the way I'm not used to the way my body is becoming and then I just feel like uh, about it and mentally it's not super awesome and definitely triggers my eating disorder. Hypersexualizing people triggers eating disorders so don't fucking do it. I'm just kidding. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much all I have to say um, about that. Probably have a lot more to say, but that's usually what happens. Um, all right, well, sorry that I didn't post any videos. I got stuck in Philly, and then I got a promotion at my job. And I just didn't film any stuff. I need to start filming stuff again, like, more often. Uh, luckily, today has been a lot more relaxed, and I'm super stoked that I get to post this video. And I definitely will be more consistent. Um, so, the two topics that I missed, I believe, were uh, coming out to your family and choosing your name. So I'm going to post those videos on my personal channel, which is Eden Marcel, easy, Eden hyphen Marcel, you'll see it, it looks like me. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know, I hope that this opens up some kind of conversation and you folks just like rally down at the bottom in the comments, hit it up. Once again, I'll get back on my internet activities and we'll start responding again to your comments. Uh, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great Monday.